dear students welcome you all in the virtual process of learning today i am dr dipika paliwal assistant professor welcome you all on the behalf of school of medical and allied sciences today we learn about anti metabolites a category of the anti cancer agent before we start this lecture student must be aware about the structure of nucleotide base the student also know the six different types of base and what is the structure of dna and what is the process of dna synthesis the objectives of today lectures are the student will learn the different types of anti metabolites what are the different approach for treating cancer using these anti metabolites and what are the structure of these drugs introduction anti metabolites are structural compounds that exist within the cell related to the normal bio precursors anti metabolites generally interfere with the availability of normal purine or pyrimidine nucleotide precursors either by inhibiting their synthesis or by competing with them in the dna or rna synthesis their maximal site toxic effect are in the s phase and these drugs are cell cycle specific mainly act on the s phase that is the dna application classification of anti metabolites anti metabolite class are generally divided into three categories the first one is folate antagonist the drug comes under these categories are methotrexate second category is purine antagonist they contain purine in their structure drugs under this category are 6 mercaptopurine 6 thiopurine azathioprine and the fluteramine the third category is pyrimidine antagonist and the drug comes under under this category are 5 fluorouracil capecitabine cytrabine or also known as the cytosine arabinoid <laughs> these are the sugar derivative of cytosine now let me discuss these anti metabolite classes will be take the first category is folate antagonist these are the derivative of folic acid the drug the first drug is methotrexate it is the classic anti metabolites of folic acid St structurally derived by and methylation of para amino benzoic acid residue and the replacement of a pyridine hydroxylase by the bioisosterase amino group look at the structure of folic acid and methotrexate the only difference is in the the folic acid structure is divided into three parts this is the pyridine ring this is the papa papa belongs to para amino benzoic acid and the glutamic acid in the structure of folic antagonist folic acid antagonist that is methotrexate the structure difference is in this papa methyl substitution is there at the n methyl glutamic acid will remain same and in the pyridine hydroxy is substituted with the amino derivative the conversion of this hydroxy to ns2 increase the basicity of the n3 that is a nitrogen atom at three position and yield a greater enzyme affinity let me discuss the mechanism of action of methotrexate or folic acid antagonist methotrexate competitively inhibits trihydrofolate reductase an enzyme that participate in the tetrahydrofolate synthesis from the folic acid the affinity of methotrexate for the trihydrofolate reductase is about 1000 fold that of folate they char catalyze the conversion of trihydrofolate to the active tetrahydrofolate this folic acid is needed for the de novo synthesis of the nucleotide 
thymidine and that is required for the DNA synthesis. Also, folate is needed for the purine bases. So, all purine synthesis will be inhibited. Methotrexate therefore inhibit the synthesis of DNA, RNA, thymidylate and protein. Methotrexate is cytotoxic during the S phase of the cell cycle. Methotrexate have a great toxic effect on the rapidly dividing cell that is on the cell mitosis. The second class is purine antagonist. The design of antimetabolites based on the purine structure begin with the isosteric thiol and sulfhydryl group to replace the 6-hydroxy group of hypogenthine and curanine. 6-mercaptopurine that is also denoted as 6-MP and 6-thiogenine inhibits the conversion of inosine monophosphate to adenine and curanine nucleotide that are the building block for RNA and DNA. These antimetabolites are used for the treatment of acute lipomena. Mechanism of action of 6-mercaptopurine. 6-mercaptopurine, the first step is the nucleotide formation, that is the 6-mercaptopurine converting to the nucleotide analog 6-thioinosinic acid or TMPI that is a thioinosine monophosphate. Second step is the inhibition of purine synthesis TIMP that is a 6-thioinosine monophosphate inhibit the first step of de novo purine ring biosynthesis. The last step is the incorporation into the nucleic acid TIMP is converted into di and triphosphate that can be incorporated into the DNA and this result in the non-functional RNA and DNA. So it inhibits the de novo purine synthesis and incorporate into the DNA and make the non-functional RNA and DNA. Look at the structure of purine antagonist. 6-mercaptopurine that is the in the hydroxy group is replaced with the thiol group at the 6th position. The next drug is 6-thiogenine. Thick 6-thiogenine is also incorporated into the RNA and its deoxy antimetabolite is incorporated into the DNA. The next drug is azothiopurine and it is a heterocyclic derivative of 6-mercaptopurine. Azothiopurine designed to protect it from catabolic degradation, not significant but better anti-tumor activity than 6-mercaptopurine. It is used as an immunosuppressant. The last class of anti-metabolites is pyramidine antagonist. The first drug is 5-fluorouracil. The pyramidine derivative 5-fluorouracil, also denoted as 5-FU, was designed to block the conversion of uridine to thymidine. The normal biosynthesis of thymidine involved the methylation of the 5 position of pyramidine ring of the uridine. The replacement of hydrogen at the 5 position of uridine seal with a fluorine result in an antimetabolite stir leading to the formation of a stable covalent tertiary complex composed of 5 fluorouracil that is the thymidylate synthesis and a cofactor that is the tetrahydrofolate species. Look at the mechanism of action of 5-fluorouracil. 5-fluorouracil is converted to the corresponding 
deoxynucleotide that is a 5 DUMP that is a fluoro deoxyuridine monophosphate which inhibit this enzyme that is a thymidylate synthesis inhibition of this enzyme lead to the suppression of the formation of thymidine nucleotide and this will result in the inhibition of DNA synthesis through thymidine less depth. The next step of pyrimidine antagonist class is cytidine. This is a cytidine that is a nucleotide molecule formed when cytosine is attached to a riboside analog. These are the cytosine sugar derivative. It is phosphorylated in the body to the corresponding nucleotide which inhibits the DNA synthesis. The triphosphate of cytobine is an inhibitor of DNA polymerase and also block the generation of cytidinic acid. Cytobine is cell specific and act primarily during the S phase. Its main use to induce remission in the acute leukemia in the children and also in the adults. Other uses are hot skin diseases and non-hot skin lymphoma. Now look at the question from the exam point of view from this lecture. Discuss the mechanism of action of methotrexate. What are the different chemical classes of antimetabolites? What is the mechanism of action of 5-fluorouracil? And discuss the mechanism of action of 6 mercaptopurin. Dear yes, students, if you want more information regarding this lecture, you can refer to this reference book. We will meet in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Thanks a lot.